Malaysia's next general election isn't due till 2023, but Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin might go early to stabilize his government, which has a slim majority in parliament. Many within UMNO, the largest political party in Mr Muhyiddin's coalition, are not willing to negotiate for seats nor support him as Prime Minister at the next election. In an exclusive interview with Melissa Goh, UMNO advisor Tunku Razali Hamza insists that UMNO is gunning for a huge victory in the next election. Well, because people are afraid of the instability that brings it with a, a government with a thin majority like this. We have never experienced a hung situation and this is the first time. And uh, we are afraid that if we have a general election now, although everybody says they are ready, but uh, my fear is that we may come back to square one and have a, a similar situation. So snap poll may not be the best way to stabilize the government, you're saying. What is UMNO's position when it comes to seat allocation? Bersatu shouldn't come into the picture. They feel that uh, it should be just more fakat. Maybe pass and UMNO get it together, together with the traditional partners of Barisan National. I my MCA and MIC, and then you don't have much of a problem about the allocation of seats. But if you bring in Bersatu, we may face the election uh, and come out with the results that will, that will put us in a hung situation again. Nobody in a dominant position and nobody has a clear majority. Then we are going to have a very instable situation. Prime Minister Muhyiddin, UMNO of course will rally behind him, they are in a government together. Yeah. But if there's an election, UMNO will not support him. I don't think so. I don't think so. The arrangement in PN is purely to keep stability uh, going. But uh, when we face the general election, it's a different ball game. And I think UMNO has to put its acts together. UMNO's chances in the coming election? I think good. Good, provided we are in a dominant position. Who will Amnon um, dom nominate as the Prime Minister? I do not know. This is a big question. I think what Amnon has to decide, or Barista National has to decide, is to hoist a, a person who can lead, one with integrity, one with competence. Those who were leaders yesterday must be prepared to sacrifice themselves and give way to new people who are not tainted. What is your thought on Dr. Mahathir trying to make a political comeback as a third time Prime Minister? He's 94 years old. <laughs> it bugs me. <laughs> he has failed the last two, 22 months of the leading the country. And I don't know whether he has got anything new to offer. But the, the, but the country needs fresh leadership. And we must go forward confidently. And we are, we are losing out, even among ASEAN, member, uh, ASEAN friends. They are ahead of us. And uh, I think we should not uh, be playing with politics too much. It's the lives of the people that are important.